serve God. One thing I'll never forget, it was only through God's grace that the womb inside me healed. When God came to me, He touched my heart, and the power of His message woke me up. I knew that He wanted to use me to help save other people. How amazing God's grace is! He loves each and every one of us. I decided to devote my life to His service. It's only through the love of God that I can live a better life. It gives me a purpose and a reason to live. Just as the sun cannot stop shining and seeds in spring cannot stop sprouting, these people answered a call from deep in their souls. They were reborn through Jesus. They could not help but dedicate themselves to God and become missionaries of the gospel. How fast time flies! I have been on this path for 16 years. Zhang Chin Yun was born and raised in an intellectual family. When she decided to dedicate her life to missionary work, she had a long talk with her father. He said to me, you have three choices. If you like to continue your education, I will support you financially. If you like to keep on working as a teacher, I'll make all the arrangements. If you like a different job with my authority and connections, I can find you a good one. Think about it, I said. I don't want anything of that. Why not, he asked. What else do you want? I told him I want to continue my work as a missionary. He gave a long sign. Qing Yun, if you ever get tired and feel you can no longer carry on, please come back home. Our door is always open to you. If you are happy living with your brothers and sister and choose to do that for the rest of your life, please don't forget to write home, no matter how far away you are. My eyes were full of tears and I was afraid to look up at my father. Then he asked me one last time if I was sure I wanted to leave. I said, yes, I want to go. So he took out $30 and said, I don't have much money left. Take this with you for the road. My mother used to beg me to come home too. She said, what use is it all this traveling? So I tell her it was all for God's love. If I don't spread the gospel, many other people will answer his call. But God has planted the seed in my heart. He called me and gave me this mission and responsibilities, and I can't refuse to follow his will. This courageous girl grew up in a small town but spent most of her youth in caves and in jail. There was a lot of pain and also a lot of joy. God's love has led me onto this path. I was weak, I was lost, but I have never regretted my choice. Today, Zheng Chin Yun and her husband are in charge of training missionaries for house church activities. More and more people, including their families, have begun to understand and support them. With the company of your love, we will keep following your footsteps till the end of our lives. Since the 1980s in mainland China, tens of thousands of devout Christians like Zheng Qin Yun 
have dedicated their lives to the Lord. From 1981 on, I completely devoted myself to this path. I left my hometown with several other girls and went by bicycle and on foot to more than 10 counties nearby. In every village, we talked to people we met on the street. Many of them were really interested. They never seen a group of girls spreading the gospel. A lot of sick people were healed by the power of our prayers. Every time we traveled, tens of thousands of people became followers of Jesus. This is how we established the house churches. In the beginning, there were miracles in every village we visited. Many missionaries were gifted with the power of healing. We were able to heal the sick with the touch of our hands. We would visit a new village. We would sing in the yards or farmhouses. Many neighbors would drop by just out of curiosity. We would teach them about Jesus. Then, if the villagers said they would accept the gospel, we would kneel and pray together. Every time there was a celebration, a wedding, or a funeral, we would beat our drums and strike our gongs to spread the gospel. We used to put on plays, skits, dances, or tell Bible stories in order to spread the gospel. We spread the gospel on buses, trains, and in the streets. We knocked on every villager's door. We went into their homes and told them all about the good news. What is the gospel? Sit down, please. Everybody, sit down. We visited every corner of our local area and spread the word. After it was established locally, we traveled to other cities and provinces. We've been to Shanxi, Hubei, and Ningxia. Back in 1980 and 1981, that was the golden era for Wenzhou House Church. From the remote regions of Xinjiang, from the desolate land in the northeast, we had massive gatherings. The Holy Spirit came down upon us with abundance. Then, in 1981, the government re-established the Three Self Church. The good times were over. As soon as the government re-established the Three Self Church, house churches became illegal, and it was forbidden to spread the gospel. In 1983, the government gave orders to arrest a group of Christians who they labeled as the Gang of Agitators. I was arrested because they said I belonged to the Gang of Agitators. What on earth did I agitate for? Did I incite people to overthrow the communist regime? Did I announce that I was against the one-child policy? I would not complain if I had, but all I did was shout, "Christ is Lord!" And for that, I was convicted of anti-revolutionary activities. And thrown in jail for 15 years. This former Red Guard leader found understanding and comfort in Christ. Jesus didn't do anything wrong, but he was crucified on the cross. I didn't do anything wrong either. During the Cultural Revolution, I was a fighter and a destroyer of lives, but I was treated as a hero. Now I am a righteous man, but I'm considered a criminal. Everyone who has been jailed for speaking the truth, please stand and come forward. Being thrown in jail is such a common occurrence that these faithful brothers and sisters are quite comfortable talking about their experiences. The persecution never stops. There are always some of us locked up. Some have been in and out of jail more than ten times. Right now, we have fourteen members in jail. And 21 key members are on the government's wanted list. We have all suffered in jail to different degrees. There are about 40 of us. Three members were arrested recently, and they are still in jail. Ah, but 前二十六号又被呃带到监狱里。